I'm from Colombia, from Barranquilla, where Shakira and Sofia Vergara are from. And I have a more of a macroeconomic question. So it's, this is the following. Labor participation rate is lower than the pre-pandemic levels. Credit card spending is continuously increasing and personal savings rate has been dropping. What could you see this combination developing into? Look, I think education is vital, and that's education. You know, credit card, here's something interesting. Uh, for the pandemic, the interest rate on buying a car was 3%, now it's 6%. Before the pandemic, credit card was 10%, now it's 20%. I had eight credit cards when I graduated from law school. I borrowed some money to pay stocks, big hit in Chevron. Uh, but I bought, you know, I didn't want to. I had to pay one credit card after another. And I was always shocked that when it's 18%, that is, it's just kind of like that's the money that, that uh, unsavory underworld people would try to get. And that's credit card. And I think we have to teach people to get off this. Now, my friend Susie Orman, uh, her, the bedrock principle that she had was that, that if you borrow money at any level, you're going to be a slave. You can be a slave to Capital One, you know, slave to Al Ally Financial. So we have to teach people not to borrow. We also have to teach people, I mean, any, look, I borrow against a house, and I feel horrible about it that I did it, because I don't like it, because I was poor, and I feel very insecure, still, about buying a house with borrowed money. But at least I can live in it. Uh, but you can't live in a lot of things people borrow, and people who borrow for crypto, well, I bet you they're done. They probably have nothing. And Michael, I've gotta be sure, first of all, that you don't have nothing. But we have to educate people that borrowing money is virtually, and this is a throwback today to 18, 1890 and William Jennings Bryan, but that you're going to be crucified upon a cross of gold. And I just can't have anybody who I, I'm in contact with at the Herbert School or anywhere that's crucified upon a cross of gold. And uh, that's what happens when you use borrowed money. And we have to teach people that it's wrong. And if you don't have the money, buy now, pay later is not the answer. What you do is you save up and get the money. because you don't want to be a slave to people who charge you 20% interest. You'd be a slave to somebody who charges you 3% interest because you can get 4% on the, on the, on the five-year. Well, actually, in the two-year, you got 4.01 today. But we have to teach, and that's one of the reasons why I'm here. I think everybody, I love President Frank's notion of education for life. It's never too late. Uh, I thought it was too late when I got out, out of, out of uh, before I went back to, to Harvard Law, between Harvard Law and college, I had five years off, and I did not do anything right. And I certainly was not educating for life. I, I had, a, I think my degree was in Jack Daniels. Uh, very thorough. And then Kesha writes a song. She, you know, she's talking about brushing your teeth with Jack Daniels. I'm like saying, ooh, geez, I actually did that. But you know, that's what you had. I was living in my car, you had a, I had an ax, I had a 22 caliber, uh, and I had powder, and I had Jack Daniels, and that's all I had. Everything else was stolen. So I always remember that day. Every day when I ever think about borrowing money, I keep thinking about what it was like in that 77 Ford Fairmont with the hatchet and the gun and realizing that's all I had in life, and I never want to go back there. And that's the way I think. You know, I'm lucky enough now to have that experience because I know what you never want to be like.